Yo, what's up guys, it's Talon. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about every role and how to decide on which role to main in Wild Rift. I'm just going to go over basically kind of what strengths the roles require, uh, what type of skills you need, what kind of skills you don't need as much, um, just so you guys can hopefully figure out, you know, what role you want to play if perhaps you feel like your role doesn't quite fit you. And I'm also going to kind of talk about what roles I think are good for role swapping or like learning. So like, for example, ADC players, it's kind of good to learn support as well since you're already in the lane, but I'll go more through that as we go through the list. So starting out with top lane and then going all the way down to bot lane, we will talk about every single role and which one you should main in Wild Rift. Okay guys, so starting out with top lane, this is the classic 1v1 role. If you really enjoy just, you know, feeling like you can just outskill your opponent, you know, it's very much a 1v1. You don't have to worry about other outside factors. You don't have to lane with someone else. It really requires strong laning, you know, just good laning in general. Um, just enjoying that 1v1 is kind of the main thing here. Of course, it does require you to pay attention to the enemy jungle as well. Um, but the main things that you need in this role are good mechanics so that you're able to win 1v1s, proper wave management, and a good idea of how to track the jungler so that you don't get ganked. The things you don't really need as much in this role is team fighting skills, especially if you want to play a split pushing champion. You don't need to be a super good team fighter in a lot of situations. You can kind of get away more with just with being a really, really good laner because if you win your lane and you do really well in top lane in that regard, then a lot of the other problems kind of go away. Now, the problem with top lane and the reason some people don't like it is because it feels like sometimes you can't impact the game as heavily as you would like because of the fact that you're so disjointed early on in the game from your teammates. So the good part is, if you do really well in lane, you always get to have fun, usually even if your teammates are doing bad, because you're still strong and you can still fight, you know, win that 1v1 and really show your skill. But the problem can be sometimes it feels hard to spread that lead to other people, uh, meaning that sometimes you may win lane and you may, may feel like you play really well, but it might feel hard to actually, uh, you know, translate that into a victory. Now, really good top lane players are really good at doing this. Once you get better at the role, you will learn how to translate your lead from your lane to other lanes. But in general, uh, those are kind of the main things about top lane. If you really enjoy that 1v1, you really enjoy styling on your opponent, um, and you're not too worried about always having the most impact, then top lane is a great role for you. Um, however, if you're more of someone who's more focused on uh, team fighting and being with your team and helping them out, then this might not be the role for you. And if you are a top lane player, the best role I would recommend role swapping to is mid lane because... Uh, just like top lane, it's a solo lane where you're very focused on the 1v1, uh, but mid lane has a lot more presence around the map and everything like that. So next up, guys, moving on to jungle. Jungle is very much a macro-focused role. Early on, you don't have much fighting. It does feel boring to some people because of the fact that you're PvE. You're not really fighting your opponents. You're fighting, obviously, jungle camps. Uh, the fun part about it comes with the strategy of tracking the enemy jungler setting up uh, good ganks, looking for ganks, and helping out your laners, and really feeling like you have a big impact across the map. So if you feel like your strengths are thinking a lot about the game and not so much mechanics, then jungle would probably be a really good role for you. If you're someone who really enjoys that 1v1 of top lane or mid lane, uh, then this role might not be as fun for you, just because you're obviously going to be a lot less focused on that. You're going to be a lot more focused on just uh, the general macro of the game and just kind of you know clearing the camps and then going for ganks and stuff like that. The main strengths that it requires, again, are that good macro knowledge and good decision making um, without needing a ton of really good mechanics. You can play simple champions like Xin Zhao, Bai, uh, those types of champions to kind of negate the fact that you might not be good mechanically. And jungle has a very large impact on the game, which also feels nice because it feels like you can really impact a lot of games and win a lot of your games because you have that um you know the smite you control where who goes for objectives you control what objectives you get another thing is kind of understanding and being able to handle the pressure of being the one with smite because having smite means that you are if, if you miss your smite on the baron or elder dragon you pretty much lose the game um so there's a lot of pressure in the role so again it's like if you really like to have control over your game feel like you're the one who can decide what your team does when they do it and really have a lot of impact over the game and the outcome then jungle is a great role for you if you're someone who likes to be a bit more of a passenger and kind of follow up on your teammates decisions then jungle is probably not the best role for you and for role swapping if you are a jungle player i would recommend role swapping to support if you're looking to switch roles because it's another macro focused role that focuses on engaging and making the plays for your team similar to jungle and then next up guys we have mid lane 
So just like top lane, mid lane is very so obviously a solo lane, so it's very focused on the 1v1, so having that good laning and the skill in lane is very important. The difference between mid and top lane is that mid lane has a much more, uh, much greater impact on the map. So if you enjoy that 1v1, but you also like to be able to impact the game more early and roam around and help out your teammates, that's where mid lane is going to feel really nice. The thing you don't need as much in mid lane is kind of actually nothing. You kind of need a bit of everything in mid lane. Um, mid lane is kind of a role, I would say it's the hardest role in Wild Rift in my opinion, but it definitely requires a lot of thought. You need the macro and decision making of a jungler. You need the mechanics of a lot of harder roles because of the fact that there's a lot of very mechanically challenging um, champions in this role alongside the fact that you're also laning people, which also requires more mechanical capabilities. Um, so this is really kind of the everything role. You can do whatever you want in this role. You can play mages, you can play tanks, you can play bruisers you can play assassins you can play adcs like you can play literally almost anything in this role and make it work so if you really like that versatility you like being able to impact the game early you like the solo laning then mid lane is going to be a great role for you and just like top lane um i think that if you want to roll swap from mid lane to another role i think top lane is the role for you because it's a solo lane and um just all of that but again mid laners can really kind of play any role i feel like again like i said it's such a versatile role so whatever way you play mid lane might change what you want to roll swap to. If you really like the, the roaming part of mid lane, then jungle might be a good role for you. If you like playing supportive mid laners, of course, switching to support could be good for you. So in general, mid lane is a very versatile role if you just like learning a lot of different things and just being really like at the center, the focal point of the game, then mid lane is a great role for you. And then after that, we have ADC guys. So ADC is really just a mechanical role. It's all about kiting. It's all about spacing. If you like farming up and carrying those late game team fights, and you feel like you're a really good team fighting player, you have really good mechanics, then this is definitely the role for you. This role does not require much macro and can sometimes feel like you don't have much control over the decisions being made by your team. So if you really dislike not having control over when your team goes to Baron, when your team split pushes, when your team team fights, when your team makes all these decisions, then you're probably not going to like ADC. But if you really just like focusing on mechanical outplays, getting pen to kills, you know, team fighting really well, um, being squishy but being a really high damage dealer, these are the things that ADC brings to you. So if that's the type of player you are, then ADC is definitely a role I would recommend. But if you really like focusing on the macro and decision making more, then ADC is probably not a great role for you. And then for role swapping, if you're an ADC player, I would say mid lane is usually a pretty good role to uh, role swap to. Simply because there's a lot of ranged damage dealers in that role as well. So similarly, you know, you're going to have those farming scaling champions that you can play in ADC and mid lane alike, uh, which is why I would recommend if you do want to roll swap, ADC uh, going to mid lane is probably going to be the best bet. However, swapping to support is also an understandable one for ADCs because you already have experience in that lane. You've already experienced a lot of the lane matchups. You understand how an ADC thinks. Um, so swapping to support also does make a lot of sense so i really would say either of those are great role swaps and then lastly we have support so support's very much like the unsung hero in a lot of games you don't really get all of the respect of being the carry you know if your team if your vein gets a pentakill well you're not really going to get much credit even if you're the one who engaged or saved his life or whatever usually it's going to be the focus is going to be the person who got the pentakill you know you're not always going to get all that credit you're not always going to be the main focal point of your game but you if you really like just you know making those those plays helping your teammates out really just supporting your teammates and letting them carry you don't like all the pressure of you know being the 1v9 carry with 12,000 gold at 10 minutes where if you die you instantly lose the game but you just like you know more of that the less pressure less focus on laning because you don't really have to last hit but you still you know like making plays like saving people's life and, and feeling like you're contributing to your team really well then support's definitely a great role for you now there's kind of two different ways to play support there's the engaging style and then there's the enchanter style so if you like range champions that are like healing your teammates and buffing your teammates then enchanters are probably your type of champion but also if you really like engaging for your team and being a tank then you also have the tanky uh, supports of course nautilus thresh Leona, Alistar, etc. You have all of those. So really, there, there's two different ways you can play support. But either way, if you just don't like being the main focal point, you more just like less stress, but still the ability to really impact and help your team out really well. Um, if you do play well, then definitely support is what I recommend. And then for the role swaps, I would say there's two main roles you could role swap to. One would be jungle because it's similarly focused more on macro and less on mechanics. Um, but also ADC because again, you are already in that lane. 
so you probably kind of already understand the role and, and everything like that so those would kind of be the two main things that i'd say you could potentially role swap to if you are a, a support player so that's going to be it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts on your role and what you feel like the main strengths and weaknesses most players in your role, role possess uh, and why you main the role you do uh, i know like i get this question fairly often um people are just asking me if they should swap roles because of the impact of their role or because maybe they're looking for a new role to role swap to so i thought i'd make this video talk about kind of the reasons that i think people should play the roles that they play um and let me know if you feel like your role fits you or you feel like maybe you're not a good match like for me i used to be an adc player but i feel like my mechanics are pretty bad and i'm not actually like i'm not really someone who likes focusing on mechanics or focusing on dealing damage i prefer to have more of that control of like a jungler for example uh, which is why i've kind of been playing a lot more jungle recently uh, but yeah that's gonna be it guys i hope you enjoyed and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video